Today, I'm going to teach you one secret DaVinci Resolve transition that you guys have probably seen before, but maybe you haven't. And just in case you haven't, you're going to want to stick around to the end of this video because this transition is absolutely very cool. Okay, let's jump in. All right, so now that we're in DaVinci Resolve, the best video editing software in the world, we're now going to just make sure that we have two things. We're gonna need our footage that we're transitioning into and our footage that we're transitioning from. So we got the clip, which is the intro of this very same video that you're watching here, assuming I decide to use it, which I probably will. And next, I have a screenshot, so I'm just going to move this stuff over on the timeline and bring in a YouTube screenshot and connect the two of these two together. And all this is is just a picture of my home screen. There you go. You get to see what kind of videos I watch on YouTube. Now, once we got that, we are going to add in a new track. So right-click right over here and add a new track. And... Now we're going to add in an adjustment clip. So make sure the effects tab is open. Type in adjustment clip. And uh, just a feature request for Black Magic. If you guys are listening to this video, um, it might be cool if you have a way to add in an adjustment clip from, from the timeline or uh fusion clip for that matter i know you can create a fusion clip up here fusion comp but it'd be nice if you could just right click and add in an adjustment clip you know we use these things a lot so black magic if you're listening please add the feature everybody blast that in the comments down below if you think that would be a good feature to add um but yeah, so let's just... All right, so now once you got your adjustment clip exactly where you want it, now we're going to jump into the Fusion page. And then we're just going to click on our Medium 1, hit Shift Space, and type in Displace. We're going to hit Enter and grab our Displace node. And now we're going to grab this Fast Noise node. We're going to go ahead, connect this to our green input on the foreground. All right, now we're going to jump into the fast noise node and we're just going to adjust our detail and our contrast just a bit. You know, you can do this to your liking. You can play around with this in the end to see exactly what this does, but it's just essentially going to warp everything as you can kind of see here. If I turn off the fast noise node, whoops, um, just disable that. You can just see how everything is nice and warped. All right. So now once you're done with that, you're going to uncheck the lock X and Y. This is just going to allow you to play around with both the X and Y scale values here. So what you're going to do is you're going to make the X scale 100, and then we're just going to make this Y scale to 10. All right. Now we're going to want to jump into this displace node and switch this type from radial to X and Y. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe the Y refraction. So we're going to come to the start of the clip. We're going to come to the end of the clip. And then we're going to come to the in between where it's on each video. So the last frame of the first video that you're transitioning from, and then the second video clip, we're going to keyframe that as well. All right. Now you're going to come here. You're going to come to the first frame of the first one. We're going to put this on negative 0.1. And then we're going to come to the obviously a frame forward, and we're gonna put this at 0.1. Now you're gonna get something like this. One secret to Vince Transit. Today I'm gonna to teach you one secret. All right, so obviously this transition is nice and slow. If you wanted to speed this up, we literally come back here and we could adjust our adjustment clip. If we wanted it to be something more like this, we could just, come back into the fusion page we can jump on our um displacement go to keyframes zoom to fit select this down arrow and then we can just drag in our 
keyframes. So we come here and make it so that way the clip ends and starts exactly where the transition is. All right, so th that looks much better. Um, so yeah, let's keep it that fast and now we can move on. All right, so now once we got that, we're gonna come back into the displace node and we're going to make these very same keyframes on the Y offset. So come in here, just keyframe anywhere you see the white arrow on here, um, the white little line and then we're going to make the in-between ones, instead of negative one and 0.1, it's just gonna be 0.5 on both of them. So 0.5, boom. And now that we got that, we're going to be adjusting the spline. So you're gonna to wanna to open up the spline right here. So select displace, open up the spline, and then we can come here, we can check the box for displace. You can do show only selected. And we're actually just gonna do the Y refraction here to start. So let's just go ahead and hit S and smooth everything out. And then we can come in here, we can adjust our handles. I'm gonna hold Alt. Whoops, that didn't work properly. I'm gonna hold Alt click and drag this in. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Hold Alt, click and drag it in. And now we're going to actually drag these handles up and down. So let's go ahead and drag this one down. Something like that. Whoa. All right, now we can see what that does. Today I'm going to teach you. Look at how smooth that looks, guys. That, that's freaking incredible. I told you guys that this was going to be cool. All right. Now we just got two more steps and then we're done with this transition. So let's jump back into this and let's uncheck the Y refraction. Let's do Y offset. We're going to do the very same thing to make this ease in and out. We're going to select everything, hit S. Um, then we're going to select the points one by one, drag this in. We're going to drag this in and then we're going to select this guy right here and drag this guy right down. And we're just going to drag this guy right down. Boom. Now I got a beautiful transition here. And the last thing we need to do is come into our displace node, go to settings, click on motion blur and just crank this bad boy up. Now check out what we got. Today I'm gonna teach you. Today I'm gonna teach you. Look at that, guys. Perfection. It looks beautiful, right? Everything looks better with motion blur. So this is going to be how you do the melt transition in DaVinci Resolve. This effect was entirely inspired by Peach ENT. I wanted to bring it back to light because he posted something about this um, multiple transitions um, in one video that he did a couple years ago. I want to bring this up because I hadn't seen anything like it in a while and I was trying to do it in some of my videos. So I want to bring this to you guys and just refresh it a little bit so that way it's in the back of your minds. But basically, that's it. Make sure you guys check the link out down below in the description. I'm coming out with some cool stuff for you guys. If you guys want some trainings with me, you and me, group, one-on-one, -on -one, all going to be down below information for that as well as... Um, you know, maybe it's booking a call with me or something like that, but there's also going to be courses and other different things to excel your knowledge in the video editing space. So that way you guys can just create some absolutely killer videos or make an absolute shit ton of money, whatever your life goal is. I'm, I'm here to help. So go check that out down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. This is Rob Creates, and I'm out, ladies and gentlemen.